Oh, What's going on, guys? It's your boy over. <laughs> What's going on, guys? It's your boy OBS Vlogs bringing yet again another video, guys, and to celebrate finally our 200 subscriber goal. Yeah. Yeah. you guys, a new guest. It's your boy, Attaboy Ray. I hope you guys do enjoy this video. About 94% of you guys aren't subscribed yet. So please hit that like button, hit that follow button, leave a comment down below. And I hope you guys do enjoy. And as always, there's your boy, Obvious Flux. And we out of here. Should I just mention first that I don't like scary stuff? Like, I don't like scary stuff, but let's go. Y'all gonna think like I'm, I'm real overreacting, but I'm not, dude. I, I swear. <laughs> I don't like it. All right, All right. Here we go. On September 18th of 2023, a couple of friends are meeting up at a friend's house to practice for a dance recital. They'll be performing in a few days, so they want to make sure their dance is perfectly choreographed. Throughout the night, the friends record themselves dancing solo before eventually filming their collective dance. But fast forward to only a couple hours later, and something very strange happens. According to the group, they were playing a game inside a room when something pretty creepy happened. This is what was caught. Okay. Wait, middle, down. Okay. Oh, dude. Yeah. I feel like you're in a 90s dance. Let's do it. You can only move when the lights are off. You can't move when the lights are on. Oh, you have five moves to get to me. Are you ready? Yeah. <laughs> the curtain. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. Oh, mm. all right. Wait. <laughs> Wait, I don't think it's a current because she's moving back and she's moving like like left and right. So I think like the wind blowing is making it look like. It. I don't even know what's going on, first of all. I, well, she's talking about turning. You know what? Just watch a video. <laughs> no, okay. Well, okay, so it wasn't that one, to me. but it's going to happen soon. <laughs> I don't like jump scares, dude. But yeah. I know it's not gonna. <laughs> oh no! What the I oh my turned god! Turned the light off. Oh. What the heck? Huh? Something fell right. Yeah, it was sitting right here. Was it? And it just fell off. Okay. Oh, fell. No, that's how it is. Blew off. There's no way it was this here. Feel how heavy this is. I don't know. Yes, oh, it, wow. was, it was sitting right here. Did you? Wait. So that that went from down there to the bed. It went from up up on that whatever that black shelf is, and it flew down. I guess. Okay, so it's not that we're looking for any entity, yeah. rather than just something flying like a culture guys or whatever. Right. Was... No, she didn't touch it. No, that's. The... Wait, she's saying oh, she, Yeah, that shit was moving. What wait, the heck? What? Hey, wait, yo. wait, did that start moving? What? Or did I just <laughs> yeah, that. The fact that it was moving already. Okay. Oh, oh, that's that's all that is moving. They didn't see it either. There's no way it was here. Feel how heavy this is. No, it's not. It's not. It's not. It's sitting right here. Did you touch that? Yeah, I couldn't touch it. That's. Maybe it was like. What? No. What is that? Oh. Where's the guy at though? That's wasn't there a guy in the beginning with them? Okay. What was the stream? Uh, what was the stream? Oh my god! What is? No, where's the guy at now? Because there was a guy with them. As if playing this game was not already creepy enough, this happens. Okay. Now, right before the video ends, a loud thump is heard on camera. Hearing this sound was enough to silence the girls, as they already knew what it was. It was the same crystal cube that had dropped earlier. This was strange, considering that it was placed securely on the shelf and has never fallen until now. Casey, who was in this video, further adds that it seems to have flown off the shelf, given how far it landed on the floor. It's as though someone, or something, had flung it. But even stranger are the events that followed afterward. A ceiling lamp begins to move on its own, and a shelf door pops open out of nowhere. Understandably, the girls ran away in sheer panic. Now they have yet to post more videos explaining the events of that night. But until then, it seems that the citizens will have no conclusive answer on what exactly was captured in this video.
I mean, let's be honest, it could have been worse. That that little cube thing could have fucking like hit one, one of, of them. One of them, yeah. Like, that could have been flinging. I would have been upset. Especially when that girl was down, she like right. goes right by yeah. it, then that could have flew off. I think that thing would have hurt. Yeah. In the following video, a mother, a mother and her two children are standing outside their house after seeing something very alarming. They had just come back from walking outside when something on the second floor window catches their attention. The family couldn't help but record this on the off chance. That's not exactly the second floor. That's more like an attic. If it's that house that they just showed, yeah, that's short. definitely an attic. This is definitely an attic. That is definitely. Oh, no, well, that's the attic right there. They're trying to. Hey, no way. This is definitely the window of an attic. There's no windows. Don't have attics. Right. I mean, but... attics don't have windows. <laughs> <laughs> you attics know? don't have windows. I mean, but yeah, attic... but still, that's still a small for a second story. Ah, uh, listen. Oh, uh, yeah, you're probably right. Yeah. The family no, 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 couldn't like, help but record. That's a small. If that is a second story, like, bro. How? Hmm. Or I don't. I don't know. I, I, didn't, I build my own house. I wouldn't know. With this, on the off chance that no one would believe them, using a flashlight they had brought along to their nightly walk, the family shines the window and sees this. All right, my daughter's room is up there, and we keep seeing something. All right, put your flashlight up. Wait, what? No, I see nothing. Oh shit, somebody peep. <gasps> I didn't see that. That curtain. Oh. All right, peeping. Flash it up there. Oh. oh, and it goes away. No, now it's gone. Hold on. Pretty Hold on. Good. Okay, let's be honest. Where's dad? Yeah, that's true. Unless or, she's a single mom. Or cousin or or another brother or whatever the case may be. But no, oh, whoa, you what can't the heck see. is that? I can't wait. Hold no, on. that looks like a face right there. Like it's in, like, it's like in, a kneeling. Yeah, yeah, right there. Flashlight but down. no, because it was higher when it was peeking through. Let's see if it'll do it again. All right, put it up. Hurry. Oh. No, there's no way. Okay, that's. It appears here, that each time the light isn't on the window, the blinds move on their own. Let me know what you guys think down below. But if you look closely, yeah, yeah, yeah. you'll see that no fingers can be seen opening the blinds, let alone a figure behind the shades. The space appears to be empty, as if no one is there. Now the children are definitely spooked by this incident, but not so much the mother, given her calm demeanor in the video. It could be that this odd occurrence has happened before, and thus explaining why she doesn't seem that faced. But whether or not that's so, what happens next further demonstrates this incident as being truly odd. Have a look. Alright, let's see if it'll do it one more time, baby. Why are they antagonizing it, bro? Put your flashlight up. Alright, let's go inside. Let's go inside. Let's go inside. Ain't no way, dude. If you think that's something, why are you gonna say let white people, bro? I swear. Why are you gonna go inside like and not be scared at all? Like, there's no way, dude. bro. I would leave my mom just go by yourself. <laughs> I'm good off that. And bro. you're telling your kids like, let's go. Like you know your kids are gonna be safe. I'll be like, I'll hold the flashlight from outside. Yeah, I'll help you from outside. Ain't no. no way. All right, here's the upstairs. I just want to show you guys. No one behind the door. Here's my daughter's room. It's a little messy, I'm sorry, but just to show you, here's the closet. I just wanna show you there's nobody crying. Nobody in the closet. Here's the window right over here. Nobody, not a single person up here. The mother checks the room and shows that no one's there. Even before entering the space, she appears to be certain that no one is up there, as if she's already experienced this before. It goes without saying, but viewers find this to be pretty strange. If no one had been inside the room, then how were the blinds opening up? And why is it that each time the window is shined, they immediately close back up? With no further context or updates on this odd occurrence, it seems that we may never know what exactly was going on in this video. But as always, you be the judge on what was captured in this footage. I really don't know. Because then he could be standing off to the side then. In the following video, a mother is recording her- Bro, what is going on with all these kids? I know. This mm -hmm. is already like the fourth video that has a kid in it. Daughter, because of something very concerning that she just said. According to the daughter, someone or something is in the closet moving inside. Mm -hmm. 
She was able to capture a glimpse of this movement from the gap beneath the closet door, but couldn't make out who or what was. Whole person though, but that's a mannequin though. Uh, where? What? You tweaking, bro? I am tweaking, bro. I thought that was mannequin. Oh hell no, bro! This video is already haunted, dude. What? Signed. She was able to capture a glimpse of this movement from the gap beneath the closet door, but couldn't make out who or what was in there. This was extremely concerning to the mother, as for a while they've been dealing with strange occurrences at home. They believe that a squatter is hiding in their house. Now they had thought this for the longest time. Hold on. A squat. You're telling me that for the longest time they thought that there was a whole ass human being in their, in their, at, right, in their house and they just thought, you know what? Just leave him there. He's okay. <laughs> Ain't no way. Yeah, what? What? These videos are fake, bro. This is fake. It's fake. Nah, There's bro, no you way. You can't judge it yet. Well, let's see. Oh Until something pretty creepy happened recently. Although Cheryl, the mother, doesn't exactly say what happened, she now knows that something else is going on in the house. One day, Cheryl is sewing in her room when her daughter, who's playing with her toys right behind her, tells her that something had moved in the closet. She immediately grabs her phone and begins to record. Hey guys, um, just wanted to jump on really quick because I had to stop sewing. My daughter just said that something weird really happened and we've been experiencing a lot of strange things lately, just different noises and stuff. Um, don't mind my mannequins, I sew for a living, so. Can you tell mommy what, what you just said? I think there's something underneath that door. Under the closet door? No. no. I'm scared. Come on, let's go. Come on. A creepy looking man. What? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That is straight up out of a movie, bro. What? Again, begins to sway on its own before plummeting to the, the ground. Camera's getting blurry too. Cheryl and her daughter are left shaken up as neither of them were near the doll when it moved. They were too far to have done anything. Feeling totally baffled, they promptly rush out of the room in a panic frenzy. Now it's worth noting that the reason Cheryl has mannequins in her bedroom is because she now works as a seamstress from home. The mannequins are there to display the dresses that she sews. But viewers believe that the figures are either cursed or haunted. Yeah, for sure. Now Cheryl doesn't really think so, considering that strange things have been happening before she bought the mannequins. Only a few months ago, Cheryl's daughter is playing in her mother's room when this is captured. Talking 
Cheryl's daughter walks over to the closet as though she heard a noise come from inside. She seemingly looks around to see what caused the noise, but finds nothing. Feeling a bit spooked, she walks out of her mother's room when all of a sudden, this happens. So then, just what exactly was caught on camera? Although Cheryl has yet to say what she thinks, many believe that something paranormal had occurred. But as with most videos, you be the judge on what was captured here. Was something supernatural caught on camera? Or was something else caught instead? I think so. My thing is too is it's on a flat, flat footing. So like how is that one right. relation had? Like and also she stepped a little bit beyond yeah. it. So if it was wobbly like you're saying, when she had stepped it, it and backed up, we would have seen it shaking and stuff. Drift or something like that. So yeah. but no, none of that happened. I don't know. You guys let me know down in the comments because that one is that's scary. That one was pretty yeah, yeah. At approximately 1 in the morning, a truck driver was driving down a road that not many drivers take for a certain reason. It is said that driving down this road is dangerous, as many accidents have occurred here before. And tragically, some of I just want to say that I got invited to go to Highway 67, I think, here in uh, where I live at, where we live at. And apparently it's supposed to be like one of the most haunted highways to 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 you know like in the in the state of where we're at uh -huh. and honestly just huge shout out to obs nakame for just bringing such an idiotic idea These accidents were fatal because of this some believe that the road is cursed and should therefore be closed down permanently but most drivers like the one in this video can't find an alternate route to their destination <clears throat> they have no choice but to take this one on august 18 of 2023 Gaston Rodriguez and his co-driver were taking this route when something pretty creepy happened. At least it was a moment. The two drivers yeah, were listening to some cheerful music to make their commute less frightening, when out of nowhere, they captured this. See it at all? Down the road, okay, there appears so to be a moving figure darting across the dirt path before suddenly disappearing from sight. It seems that neither driver had noticed the mysterious figure during this recording, but it was after watching this clip that they were left totally spooked. Who, or whatever this is, just seems to come out of nowhere and then vanish before crossing over to the road. Knowing the history of this route and the fatal accidents that have happened here, some believe that this might have been the spirit of a deceased victim who is still roaming about. But whether ghost or not, the footage alone is pretty strange. Just how exactly did this mysterious figure disappear from sight? Like most videos, there has yet to be a definitive- Like if it was a human, like actually somebody like running, it's just, it's just how instantly it disappeared at the end. Yeah, like it's like as soon as it hit the light. Like, right. It so it, it's not like it was a human running. I don't know whether it just ducked. It just ducked. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah. I- of answer as to what was captured in this footage. In this next video, a man named Bobby is watching a scary movie. Porcelain no dolls, yeah, bro. No way, dude. My grandma had porcelain dolls, and I used to be terrified of these damn things, my bro. Freaking, I, I could not stand them. Like there was only two of them, and they were like in a little case, and they had the little dress and everything. And they were minding their business. I was minding mine, but I used to be terrified at nighttime walking by those things. You have no idea. Dude, my uh, friend's mom, she had them in. They were her grandma's or something like that, so passed them down. And when you go upstairs, it's like right there in a shelf and everything. And tell me why all of them, all porcelain dolls or whatever, they're always locked up. Right, they're yes. Never, so anyways, they're right there. And just when you come up, they, they look creepy and you get that eerie feeling like you don't even want to look at them. Yeah. And then... For some reason, she put them away, and their closet was next to my closet. And every time I went in my closet, oh my gosh, you get—it's so cold. And my room's always hot. Yeah. But in, as soon as you enter that closet, it's so cold. You get so eerie. And there's been a couple times where I heard like knocks, but I think my friend he was playing the tricks on me. Like that's oh. my that's my excuse. You know, people try to make like okay. When so scary. you try to so you pretty much try to psych yourself. Yeah, out. yeah, exactly. Okay. But to this day, I don't know because he was there and he would walk across when it would happen. So I never asked him, but like I, I, 
Ugh, I would always think like, right. did he do that? You know, right, yeah. I should have asked though. But yeah, porcelain dolls aren't. Them boys is possessed. I don't care. <laughs> I don't care. Movie when a sudden noise is heard from inside his home. As it turns out, the noise had come from the cabinet behind Bobby. Feeling a bit spooked, he continues to record the case as he has a hunch that something is about to happen. This cabinet, as Bobby states, is haunted. Now this wouldn't be the first time that something like this has occurred. In previous videos, which I featured before, Bobby has documented- Honestly, Bobby, I don't think the cabinet is cursed. Yeah, bro, I'm gonna say, what is- It gotta be one of those fucking toys in there, bro. I don't think you're a goddamn- Why do you have so many? Like, what is the point in that, dude? I don't know why people have them. It's it's no weird. Like, I get it. Okay, your ancestors want to pass them down, so I guess you want to keep them. Oh, hell no. I don't want that. But at some point, dude, you got to... You got to be like... You got to be like, this is not normal. <laughs> I'm saying, dude. No. no. The things that he considers to be paranormal in nature, from his daughter's toys turning on by themselves, to bedroom doors seemingly opening on their own, something about this place just doesn't seem right. Literally, that's how the Annabelle doll actually looks like. I was gonna like. say, yeah. Like, he what? Has, what are we doing? Like, even in that cabinet at the end, it showed the Annabelle doll. What are we doing, bro? Oh my God. He still thinks it's a cabinet. <laughs> oh, <shit. laughs> you just left your daughter? <laughs> hey, oh no! He's sad, bro. Each for each his own. <laughs> I don't care. I'm out. <laughs> Oh. Nah, get out of here, man. It appears that something highly unusual is taking place in Bobby's apartment, but just when things seem to be settling down, the following takes place. While being home alone and watching a scary movie, this happens. So that's why I didn't record it. Stop. And our neighbors and all that move, so I know it's not them. And I hear footsteps again. Please leave me alone. Yo. <laughs> Sounds like he's laughing about it, dude. Like, Why are you... but the thing is, this is this is the thing, though. Like, we everybody has a different way of expressing how they would feel in a in a time of like scared yeah. some people laugh some people just literally shit themselves some people just pee themselves some people you know what i mean so he's probably like so used to shit like this happening all the time to him that he's just like leave me alone type situation but at the same time he's like buddy there has to be a time where you mm -hmm. cannot sit here and tell me that you just think it's the cabinet bro mm -hmm. throw all them shits away at that point, that's what I'm saying. But if it's the cabinet, why is it upstairs in your daughter's room and moving, opening doors? Right, like, exactly. No like your chair, bro. It's literally trying to get in there for yeah. a reason. What do you have in there? Them little dolls. Yeah. Oh. That thing, thing just slid, slid out too. too. Oh, the black thing? I was like, what are we looking at? I thought it was a chair. Yeah. Yo. I don't know how heavy is that for I, I think it that's a, pretty heavy. I think that's a baby crib. Like, you know those those wooden baby cribs? It looks like it. Like the old style, like mm -hmm. baby cribs. I was going to say, it makes sense. It's everything in this house is old as heck, dude. So, old, like I know they had like a handle and then you put the baby. I don't know why I remember, I remember something like that. 
Like you put the baby like in, in that, there, yeah, yeah, yeah. and then you hold it by here, yeah. and then you can just move That's it, small, and it swings. Bro. I don't. I mean, it could have been a child's toy. I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> Yo. Only thing you can say to is, yo, <laughs> nah, dude. <laughs> he's like antagonizing it though. I feel like, like he's he... more like shocked about what's happening and he's <laughs> recording it. Then, but it, it's kind of, it, it's really sketch when a ghost or whatever you want to call it, entity, it's doing this while you're recording. Literally, that that thing has nothing to fear, bro. Mm-hmm. Like, I, like it wouldn't be a good idea for you to sit there and antagonize mm-hmm. anything that it's trying to do. Honestly, at that point, go get help. You know what I'm saying? Because, hell yeah, no. You could literally get hurt, bro. <sighs> yeah, because I feel like, pause real quick. I feel like at that point, he's just teasing you. Because ghosts or whatever don't really like to be... They say, like, ghosts don't like to be recording. Right. Recorded or whatever. Right. So, at that point, if you're sitting there recording and he's doing it back to back, like... Yeah. And not just manipulating one item. It's, it's yeah. two, three, and, like, what's going like on? Like, he's making himself known. Yeah. He's doing it again? again? Yeah, I'm, I'm good, good on that, that man. Yeah. Yeah, I think he's trying to pull open, open again. While doing his best to remain calm, Bobby captures footage of the cabinet doing something on its own. The doors in the cabinet begin to rattle, as if someone was trying to pry them open. And shortly after, the sound of the latch being released from the cabinet door is heard. To Bobby. It seems that something supernatural is happening with the cabinet, or at least the space it's in, as other nearby objects started moving on their own. To this day, Bobby continues to experience strange happenings at home, and just like previous occurrences, this one has left him beyond spooked. In the city of Krugerstorp, South Africa, a mysterious video was filmed by a real estate agent who was touring a property for sale. It isn't known if the house in this video has been sold yet, but considering what happens in this clip, it may just be that no one will be buying this house. Honestly, nothing in Africa really surprises me. Like paranormal events happening in Africa, it really doesn't surprise me. Is that where Morocco is? I don't know where Morocco is. Wherever Morocco is, I, I've been told on the cruise ship when I was there, I've been told that's the most like, one of the most like witchcraft place. Like it's very I mean, dangerous at night, very spooky. I mean, I wouldn't doubt it because you know, Mexico got a place like that. Mm-hmm. God I feel like, yeah, I feel like there's a, I feel like even Russian, Russia, yeah. I mean. Goddamn, Haiti got a place like that. Yeah, you know, crazy. I feel like everywhere. We got a place like, or well, in the United States, it's, well, one of them uh, that I know, the main one is that, what is it, Queen Mary or whatever, the there's ship? There's also that, the ship, and, right. and you know, it, I mean, we got many, but yeah, it doesn't got... really surprise me, like, anything that happens paranormal in Africa, if I'm being honest with you. I will say, do you, do you believe in it at all? Like, anything paranormal? Yeah, that. of course. I mean, I believe in it. I've had my encounters with these things that you want to call them. Yeah. But yeah, I believe in them. Do you believe that, like, when people say, I know Mexicans always say a lot. I know you're not Mexican, but still, uh, my Mexican friends they always say like, oh, it's my, it's my grandma. Like she's watching over me. Like, do you believe they're good? Right. Like, no, more good? I don't believe that. Like at all. Yeah. I've never really believe that it's it's a good i don't i don't believe that there's such thing as a good spirit mm-hmm. like there is literally just nothing but manipulations happening yeah so of course this deceased person that you miss so much is going to disguise itself like that because you're mentally weak yeah that's how i view it yeah. so uh, to me i don't believe there's anything good for the longest time ever i uh i never really believed in ghosts and then I started hanging with my friends and I was like, oh, you know, they could be possible. And then I experienced stuff too. And I was like, okay, ghosts, ghosts could be real. Mm-hmm. And then I started reading the Bible more. And it's the part where they think when Jesus is walking on water, they think he's a ghost. Right. So that was like, okay, if that was 
And it has to be true, you know? Right. And then I was like, okay, well, maybe there are good ones and then bad ones. Mm -hmm. But then I came to, I can't remember how I found this out or how I learned it. But um, again, in the Bible, it says absent from the body is present with the Lord. Right. So anything that's not with. Right. With him. Is it's evil. It's evil. So whether it's, it's demonic, ghosts. Whatever, whatever you want to name yeah, 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 yeah. Whatever, whatever it is. Spiritual, supernatural. So Yeah, 100%. I, I agree with that. That's yeah. why I don't believe that there's a good ghost and a bad ghost. Yeah. Anytime soon. Apparently, something, something very, very freaky, freaky was caught on camera. Yeah. Take, Take a look. look. What is in that window? Do you see it? Yeah, I just saw it. might it. have been reflection, but right there. Right. Yeah. I will say, this reminds me of a video. Um, I can't remember which it is, but like they're playing soccer in a place that looks like this. And a black shadow just walks by, like clear as day, and they're like, <gasps> they all run out. They're like little kids or whatever. After watching the video, the real estate agent was shocked to see that someone was in the house. They don't recall ever seeing anyone else inside, but apparently, based on the footage, someone was there. Or, so it seems. Looking at the video again, it appears that whoever this was just suddenly disappears. As quickly as they appear, they vanish without a sign. Although it's unknown what the agent thinks, viewers believe that something paranormal was caught on camera. But of course, I'll leave it to you to decide if that's so. Just who or what was inside this house? On March 20th of 2023, a very peculiar video was uploaded by a grandmother who was looking over at the footage captured by her doorbell camera. The recording was taken late at night when no one at home had been awake. So according to the grandma, whatever was caught on camera couldn't have been her nor her spouse who resides with her. Now the house they live in isn't thought to be haunted as nothing strange or unexplainable has occurred there before. If anything unusual was happening, they would forbid their grandchildren from coming over. But despite having doubts that strange things would ever happen, they capture this. It's around 3.20 in the morning when their doorbell camera records something pretty creepy. Take a look. Oh my gosh! It's like a little, it's like a little elf. Pierce, but a small white figure. It literally, it's like a little tiny elf pulling up. I thought it came. Did it come out or did it like? Nah, you just just came out the frame right here. Yeah, because look, the door closes too. So that's why I thought that was. That's no, why I was playing around because I thought it was like one of the little kids going out. Wait, look, look, look the door. Look at the door. Yeah, yeah. Watch, it comes when when you see the white thing. It looks like the door is closing. Watch. It appears that a small white figure dashes out the front door before disappearing into the dark. Wait, even that, that's scary as hell. She has four grandkids, bro. That's what I'm saying. What the fuck? No, that's why I was like, I thought it was a grand, I thought it was, a, that's why I was like, ho oh, oh, because I was playing around, because I thought it was one of the little kids, like, exiting no, out. Oh, and then, and then some crazy bitch down here holding, holding dress. her dress. Hell yeah. no, nah, bro. Dude, nah. But then, moments later, something else appears on camera. An odd-looking silhouette can be seen just a few feet away, moving in a strange manner, as if it was floating above ground. Naturally, its uncanny movement has left the grandparents beyond spooked, but they were more concerned about seeing their front door open, as if someone or something was in their place. 
Although they can't seem to explain the events of that night, they've taken safety measures to ensure no one or nothing breaks into their house. Yet still, the question remains, who or what had been inside their home, and just what in the world was this? That, that, that could have been anything. That silhouette. Like, that could have been... But my thing is, if it was pretty much any... I don't think so, because it, it, it has, like, perfect arm shapes and, and yeah, bottom like a, body. Like, like, if it was really an old, old ancient lady right. or whatever. Like, and the thing yeah. is, if it's a small little figure coming out, wouldn't you think that that bigger figure would have been, like, holding it? Or probably trying to get it to guidance to go back into the house or something, mm -hmm. if it was an actual person? I don't know, bro. I don't think so. Mm -hmm. I think them kids be having a, a, four, a fifth person in, <laughs> and they don't even know it. They be playing with that motherfucker. In this last video, oh, two oh. friends are playing with a doll that, according to them, does something pretty strange. I, want, I wonder what is... Friends. I wonder what is strange. <laughs> like, dude, like, that don't make sense to me. You have a weird-looking doll. Hmm, there's something pretty strange about it. Right. Other than the fact that it might be moving, but... Bro, why? They the, this is why I don't mess around with, like, dolls anymore. Like, or, like <laughs> I never did. But, like, action figures anymore. Like, none of that. Bro, that's insane. Like, why is it looking <laughs> like that? Why, why do people... That will... <laughs> sorry. That will always mind blow, boggle my mind. Like, people will have the scariest stuff ever. Or, like, even, like... Okay, the evil eye. They leave, um, like, they think that that takes oh, away the yes, evil. They think that yes, takes away... Yes, but, yes. bro, that's literally in its name evil eye yeah and so same thing with this like weirdest creepiest looking thing ever but they still think <laughs> it's good like i get it in a child's mind it's a doll they don't really see ugly, right i guess ugly pretty whatever but like still dude like, i'm pretty sure these are two grown-ass <laughs> people bro i'm pretty sure they've watched annabelle they watch all these scary ass <laughs> movies and they're like yeah. oh my god look at this house. it moves pretty cool bro yeah Come here, come here. Look it, look it. If you just say its name, it'll... Nah, bro, stop. <laughs> it's playing with the doll, hoping it would do the thing that it usually does. However, while recording the figurine, they notice that its eyes are a different color. For some reason, its blue eyes, initially seen at the start of the clip, are now completely black. They continue to record the doll when this is captured. Her eyes are black on here. Why are she they turned this way. Why? I've seen that. Look at this. She's stuck in her eyes. Look at her eyes. They're black. Her eyes are like real light blue. And she completely stopped moving just a second. See? She did it again. <laughs> hey, Marissa. They even named it. She just, look. <laughs> that fan is still blowing and she's stopping. See? See? Yeah. That's so creepy. Yeah, it is. It's also creepy. She won't stand anywhere else on the table. No, I've tried it three or four places up here. She's going to do it. <laughs> Let's see something. Oh, my God. The way, the way that that just stood, yeah, nah. it's literally like somebody is holding that shit. Yeah. Nah. Like, one thing is to grab an action figure and just place it. And let it just, like, once you place it, it's firmly there. This thing just gravitated slightly and then placed. Yeah. No, bro. And they just find that to and be the coolest like, thing. Yeah, they're old people. And just like, <laughs> yeah, Marissa. <laughs> yeah, it moved. I've seen that. Yeah. I'm like, no, bro. Get, even that background, that, like, whatever that chair is right there. Right. That shit. Like, like, that's the fucking demon, dude. I swear. <laughs> it just moved it. I can't, dude. Did not do that. <laughs> I'm freaking out. Somehow, the doll turns by itself after being moved around. According to them, it seemingly doesn't like being placed in a certain spot. It's for this reason that it turns away on its own. Now the friends have tried explaining this, but it seems that nothing plausible comes to mind. They have no clue as to how the doll moved on its own. Unfortunately, with no further info on this video, it seems that this incident will remain a mystery. But aside from this encounter, there's no denying that the doll's appearance is pretty creepy. Paranormal or not, this doll has to be the stuff of nightmares. Literally. Like, did they make that? Thanks for watching. Like, imagine you just waking up and then you just see little dolls just chilling by the side of your bed. Yeah, no. Heck, heck no. Black ass eyes and just like, 
waiting for you to wake up mm-hmm. and then you just find that to be the coolest thing ever. Oh go, yeah, you were downstairs yesterday and you're mm-hmm. up here this morning. <laughs> what are you doing up here, silly? <laughs> no, dude, get the... Boom!